end of February. Oh yeah. Is it like to change 2017 to 2018? I know, yeah. That was a bit weird. Yeah, it is weird. <laughs> yeah. Um, and New York's flying already, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it's um, it's us from Ulleland. Um And we are at, at <laughs> www.ullenand.ie. Um, and it's where you'll find the latest issue with all our... Well, it's a bumper issue. Um, mm. So uh, that's still there. And of course, then we're everywhere on social media. So yeah. we're on Twitter at uh, forward slash all in and. We're on Facebook as all in and. All in and. Just all in and. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Instagram as all in and magazine. That's where I got confused. Oh, yeah. This one is different, yeah. isn't it? Um, and then we have a rivalry board as well, which if you search all in and in the groups, it will come up. Yeah. Um, yeah, actually. Yeah, and we're gonna. We keep saying we're gonna work on Pinterest, but we we found a new app that does so much for us. Yes. So once we understand the app, yes. <laughs> once we understand the app, we should be able to make it work for us on Pinterest. Yeah, so that'd be great. Uh, <laughs> let some let robots or automation yeah. do our job for us. That'll yeah. probably work better. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, and for those of you who are. Uh, new subscribers welcome hello yeah, thank hello. you very much for yeah. signing up and joining us and for everyone coming back thank you for coming back yeah and um yeah hopefully we uh hopefully you like what you see i hope you do and if if you have any ideas or suggestions or things that you'd like us to be showing yeah, you that would be kind of good then yeah. let us know yeah. yeah i've been watching for some reason like uh, we obviously review a lot of um other podcasts and mm -hmm. stuff like that and i've been watching a lot of late that are very kind of calm and oh, serene and, right. and in my head I think that would be lovely yeah but I just don't know if it's not really our personality no I, I don't I no no really? I mean it's all we can do to hold the swearing in yeah <laughs> not me yeah <laughs> I know I've got a real potty mouth um yeah I, yeah I, I, like I aspire to be that kind of calm yeah. in my day-to-day -day life but yeah I guess that's like um, Kate from Hawthorne Cottage Craft. Yeah. She's got a real kind of yeah, she's, calmness. Yeah, yeah. She kind of lulls you and yeah. Yeah, and kind of sing song, isn't it? Yeah. As well, accents yeah. where he sings song. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just not like that. No, we're not like that. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so we're not like that. So, um, spoiler. <laughs> yeah, if that's what you like, maybe go. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but usually what we try and do with the podcast is just, uh, I suppose, show you a bit more detail of what we've covered in the magazine so our various designs and all and loves and just other little bits and pieces we go through the yarns that we've reviewed and stuff like that um and then we just show you bits and pieces that we're doing ourselves um you know what, what we're knitting what we're finishing what we're looking at what we're liking mm -hmm. books we've bought that kind of thing so um yeah it kind of works but yeah as i said if you'd like to see us looking at anything or if you'd like to know more about any particular craft because obviously we focus on different crafts like yeah. you know i mean obviously with fi fiber but yeah other crafts We're, as well i'm not sure sometimes it's not fiber though yeah i guess yeah it's true or not technically yeah. yeah 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 no we we try and get out and about quite as much as we've actually just booked a batik oh yeah shop, that'd be we? interesting yeah um so yeah we try and get out and about it's it's kind of one of those things, though, because we're so far down in the country, most stuff goes on up in Dublin, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, that's and true. We kind of get up, but then you, you get up and it's a whole, it's a whole day it's a whole rather day. than kind of like an afternoon or a morning. Yeah, or it's proper proper dedication to the cause. And, yeah, yeah. and factor in parking. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It could be quite expensive. Yeah. But we try. So this this batik is isn't too bad is it it's county kilkenny so. oh yeah and it's a nice venue as well yeah so um so yeah no those things are coming on but there's a few bits and pieces going on yeah isn't there so yeah, yeah we'll get um, out and about but yeah if there's anything you want to see like i was thinking maybe we should for our non-irish based oh yeah viewers maybe we should start putting in some of the i don't know like short videos of the other things that we do like the places that we go Oh yeah, on walks and stuff like that because we're both quite keen walkers, aren't we? Yeah, well, well we'd always be out. Of, yeah, dog walkers. <laughs> we'd always be out and about. Yeah, yeah it might be a. And it's kind of it, it's quite lo like lovely where you live, and East Cork is beautiful as well. Yeah. So it's quite. And you often go down to the beach, don't you, in the woods yeah, and stuff? Yeah, it's so. Yeah. So it if you'd like to see bits and pieces like that, then yeah, let us know. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> or whatever. Or subscribe or whatever. You don't know you see other... Oh, yeah, people say, if you like us, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I was like, well, we've never done that. No. no we should ask people to do that. No. Yeah, anyway. But so. people chat to us on the, on the comments yeah, that's and nice stuff, actually. so that's kind yeah. of cool. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, kind of that whole self... I'm not sure if I'm very good at selling myself. Yeah, oh God, no. I can sell no. ice to Eskimos, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you're allowed to say that anymore, but yeah. But I can do that, but I can't, I'm not very good at kind it's of It's hard like, to self-promote, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it is tricky. Yeah, I'm lovely. Yeah, <laughs> Come like tell me, me I'm like lovely. Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please. yeah, I need this, I need this, please. <laughs> I've had a bad week. Um, so yeah, so we thought, what do, so so far we've looked at the crisscross shawls, yes. haven't we? And we've looked at the Stylecraft hoodie. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that all we've looked at? It is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So we thought that maybe we'd look at the Pale Fire, which I'm obviously oh, wearing. Yeah. Um, so this is a design by LB Handmits, isn't it? Yeah. Which is Albina. Mm -hmm. um, and it is, let me read my, because actually what Albina put was really good, like, it was really good. Goodly. 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 Um, so she put, Pale Fire is a study of contrast and contradiction. Um, it's an intriguing front-back reversible pullover, um, combining delicate lace work, evocative of springs of pine with rustic yarn, geometric shaping and an unconventional neckline. Mm. For a result that is surprisingly flattering and easy to wear. Knitting the round from the top down, the sweater features raglan sleeve construction, A-line shaping, some easy lace work and I-cord edging. So, um, and it is. So, yeah. it's knit in DK. So, oh, yeah. do you want to show? <clears throat> so, this is the long sleeve version. Um, and you can see, I'm sure, well, I hope you can see. Will I hold the, the sleeve up? Is it got a crease down it? But yeah, I'm not sure. We've got, it's kind of later on in the day, isn't yeah. it? Um, and the light's actually, not so great, I is think it? that's the back. I don't know, it's hard to it's tell, actually, with the boat there. Yeah, I yeah. That. yeah. But I wonder, can you see, you probably can't see the My A line. back is because of where I joined my oh, um, I-cord at the top. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's oh, what I, I see. Yeah. So I cast that as my back. So it's a nice, like a, would you call it, it's a bolt neck? Or I think it's, it? it's funnel. Kind of a funnel, funnel neck, but it's not a traditional funnel yeah, neck. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then this, this lovely lace that kind of, that goes all the way down the seams on the inside of yeah. the sleeve. I'm trying to see if I can show you that better. All the way down there, and then all the way down on the side of the jumper as well. And on the jumper, Albina, on the long sleeve version. So Albina knit the long sleeve version, and I knit the short sleeve version. Oh, yeah. And actually, you can kind of see the lace quite clearly yeah, where I'm wearing actually, it, I think. Yeah. Well, you think see the dark underneath. Yeah. Mm. Um, and so on the long sleeve, uh, there's a massive story behind um, it. kind of got into the wars, this version, quite a bit. Not us. Um, albino herself so she tried something different she actually had to remit the whole body <laughs> um, and she tried something different so she inserted another two lace panels so on mine let me so if you see actually i'll take it off i'm trying to think what i've got on underneath <laughs> it could be a whole different podcast <laughs> so on mine so there are two lace panels on mine so when you come down from the raglan shaping, can you see that? Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. So when you come down from the raglan shaping, you've got a lace panel coming down the front and a lace panel coming oh, down the back, okay. and you bring them down to the body, and the A-line shaping comes from this here, from oh, the creasing gotcha. here. Mm -hmm. So then when Albina did this, re knitted the body of the second one, she played around a little bit um, oh, okay. and inserted some more, but we didn't end up putting that on the actual pattern because it wasn't it wasn't meant to be there initially. Yeah. So I think Albina was talking about when she's got some time, she might write that up again. Oh, just cool. the extra so modification. just another option, yeah, yeah, for people. Yeah. But it is. It's quite the A line. It's very flattering. Flattery. It's very nice, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and in the pictures on the website, yeah. so this one is actually a thirty-six chest, and this is a thirty-four, and I think you can see in the pictures on the on the website yeah. that I can wear both, both yeah, and yeah. I'm at 36. Yeah, okay. um, it's meant to have quite a bit of positive ease. Yeah, there is, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it is a very flattering shape. Yeah. And the Cushendale, the Cushendale um, the yarn that it's knitted in, is, is a crisp, rustic yarn. Yeah, it is, yeah. So, it, like these have both been washed, but it still has, it's still holding its shape. shape it's it's yeah. kind of a structured mm -hmm. shape to it. It wouldn't be, not everyone could wear Cushendale yarn. I I have quite a high tolerance of 
rustic yarns. Right. Um, but I noticed, like I've only got a long sleeve t-shirt on underneath this, and I noticed when I was driving over the head today that when I leant back, I could feel. Oh, okay. I could feel the fibres coming through oh, okay. my top. Um, but it what it's not itchy yeah, for me. Yeah. Okay. But some people might have a problem oh, with it. Yeah, yeah. Equally, because the neck is so far away from from your actual neck. Yes. It's. There's no itch here. Okay. Do you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when we took the photos, I had a scarf underneath, didn't oh, I? Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's the other way. Like, nice, actually, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think you could wrap a scarf around the top of this. You no. Have to kind of put it inside. Yeah. Yeah. But it's really nice. Oh, I really gosh, like it. Yeah. And yeah. I was knitting it as Albina was yeah. designing it. So she would. She. I'd say right. I've done that bit. Now what? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um. So yeah. No. Yeah. I really like it. Mm -hmm. I think the what so the the long sleeve version takes between a thousand. And 1600 meters and the short sleeve version takes between 720 and 1240 meters because there's four sizes isn't there i think if i remember rightly it's the four mm -hmm. sizes five. Five. Uh, 34 36 38 40 and 43 yeah. inch chest yeah. yeah yeah i did it in meters and then i did it in <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's good isn't it yeah, yeah. It's a good a good spread of sizes yeah yeah i've definitely got quite a lot i have enough yarn left to knit another one Really? Yeah, if I oh, wanted to. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I do. And I, but I have a Cushendale cardigan, don't I? I yes, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I really like. Yeah. I do like the yarn. Yeah, 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 yeah mm -hmm. I really do like the yarn. Yeah. Um, I did initially start to knit it in a different shade, didn't I? I remember, yeah. It was kind um, of peachy. Yeah, it was a strange, light orange. Yeah. And it was kind of peachy and more mild. This is quite mild, but it yeah. was more mild. And it wasn't for me. It wasn't for you. No. It just didn't suit you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I kind of like the. The natural. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Considering I go yeah. for quite dark or bright yeah, colours yeah. normally, no, I think yeah, it's really I nice. do like it. Yeah, and it's nice because I think with the short sleeve yes. version in that colour, it's yeah. nice actually. Yeah. So when you do the short sleeve version, you don't take the lace down at all. There's no point. You just literally you you work a few rows without the lace, oh, and okay. then the apply dye cord. Oh, okay, gotcha. Bind off. Which is nice. I like. Yeah, I like. I like, like I curl mine more. Do you know? Yeah. Like, I've been dying to wear it. Yeah. <laughs> like I've got this jumper sitting there that I can't wear. Oh yeah. Um, no, I really like it. I yeah. think it's a nice design. It's, it's been quite popular, hasn't it? It really has. Yeah, we we're seeing an awful lot of hits on the website for this. Yeah. yeah which yeah. is brilliant. Um, I guess it's just a little bit different from what I'm seeing around. Yeah. Just in terms yeah. of the shape and yeah. I think so, Albina's designing is is lovely anyway. Yeah. Isn't it? In fairness. Yeah. 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 She's working on a on a, an ebook with oh, Jennifer, yeah. Yeah. who does the column in does one of the columns in the magazine. Mm -hmm. um, they're working on an ebook at the moment of, of designs for one of Jennifer's new yarns. Oh yeah, so, cool. Yeah, watch this space. That'll be good. Yeah, we'll probably be telling you about it anyway. I imagine. <laughs> so yeah, surely in one way or another. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah. So yeah. So if it's something that you're making or something that you've got queued, we'd love to hear. Oh yeah. What absolutely. you're making it in or what you plan to make it in. Yeah, and of course, if you have any questions, I'm sure. Yeah. Because Laura has knit it, so she's, you know, <laughs> and Albina is, you know, very If I don't know, just ask Albina. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure because you knit it at the same time, yeah. I guess any potential yeah. um, things have were already ironed out, so yeah. the pattern is pretty clear. Yeah. 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 No, I do, I do really like it. Yeah. Mine's a little bit shorter than Albina's as well, but yeah. No, I love it. And the lace blocked. Yeah, that's so well, well didn't it? Like really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, definitely one I like. Yeah, pretty. Um, so, yeah, so we've, so that means we have two more designs to go through with you. So we'll try and do those, get those done before the next issue. What do we have? We have the cushion. The cushions and the hat. Oh, the hat, mm. yes. Do you know what it is? It's because I don't have the hats at home. Oh, in yeah, yeah. And I can not yeah. remember what it was. I was oh. like, I know there's something else coming yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, actually, I've definitely seen the hats being knitted. Oh, um, Beth Sheen, Shaheen? Yes. Knit yeah. the version. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was nice to see it. I think she did it in a uh, like variegated. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked different, but yeah, really cool. Yeah. So, yeah, it was good. it's good to see the designs out in the wild, you know, people yeah. kind of taking them and going with it. Yeah, yeah. I love that. So, um, so yeah, so we'll show you those in more detail in the next uh, episodes. Um, and we stuck to our plan and we recorded two weeks after our last one. No, <laughs> unprecedented. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, we never do really. We say, we'll see you in two weeks and we'll be 
at the month later. Yeah, but we yeah. stuck to the plan. Yeah, yeah. Good Determined to get through the things that we we need to get through yes. for the next issue. Yes. We're organised. Um, well, I think we said that the last time too, so I'm not going to say it again because <laughs> then we weren't organised. So, no, that's like, um, do you know when I, I watch sport an awful lot and they, they call it the commentator's curse, you oh, know, yeah. they're saying, oh, they're playing really well. And then just when they've said it, it all goes to hell. <laughs> so, yeah, so I, I, I'm just going to reverse that and not say that. No, we're not organised. No. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to show you as well some, um, so our All in Land Love section is where we highlight um, crafters from Ireland and further afield. We do try as hard as we can to keep it at Irish crafters, but that isn't always 100% possible. No. But um, for the most part we do. Um, but uh, so we have two little bits to show you. Wanna do this um, or do you wanna do this? Should I do these little guys? Okay, so yeah. I'll, I'll do this just because I can't. You love it. I love it. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like, oh, like, yeah. I love it's, everything yeah. about this. It's so cute. In fact, I don't need to talk about it. Just, just look, look. at it. Just look. look the eyes. Oh my god! Oh, it's like Beaker from the Muppets. Yeah, isn't it? Oh. Just. Oh, look at it. its little wattle. Oh, wattle. Wattle. Yeah. It's a wattle, what is isn't it? And then I forget what it is. It's um, comb. Comb. I just. I and look. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. I love everything it's about this. Fun. This this came in and I was like. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll calm down now. Okay. okay, so this is pottery by Kathy, and this is a handmade chicken, just in case <laughs> you didn't realize. <Yeah. laughs> so, Kathy Mooney is a potter specialised in making unique and quirky animals. So, actually, the chicken is one of the animals, just one of the animals. There are sheep, there are dogs, the dogs are really cool, the hmm. sheep are really cool. Um, I think there were is there cows. Um, there's loads, there's fox, oh, the foxes. Oh, yeah. foxes are very popular now, yeah. aren't they? Um, and every, so Cassie does other bits and pieces as well. She does, let me just think, what else does she do? Because I remember looking at it going, oh, I really like that. Brooches? Yeah, brooches, oh, Christmas decorations. Um, the, the animals retail at 35 euros each, and they're actually mostly available through outlets in, up, um, all around the country. Um, you can get them via Cathy's Facebook page if you went onto her Facebook page, which I think is just called Pottery by Cathy. We have a link. To, oh, it's Cathy Mooney. Um, it's Pottery by Cathy Mooney, okay. um, her Facebook page. But we have a link on our All in Animals page. Oh, yeah. Um, and if you contact Cathy directly, you can order from her um, via direct message. Um, but they're just, oh, yeah. everything is, yeah. And they're all different. They're all individuals. Um yeah, you can kind of, I'd love a collection of them. A little army of them. Oh, yeah. don't. Oh, my word, they're so, yeah. I mean, look. Like, that's nice detail, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. They're all, they're all different colours. They all have something different about them. Yeah. Brilliant. Wonderful. I, I don't even need to talk to you about it because it's, just, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, it's selling itself. So definitely, if you want to find out more about Cassie's pottery, pop over to the All and Animals page and follow the links from there. Um. <laughs> so bad. Oh, no, One of my cute. friends collects loves everything chickens, and when it came in, I was like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> So these is, these are going to give you maybe Christmas flashbacks, but we wanted to show you these anyway because they're just so cute. And actually, it's they don't just do Christmas no. bits, but they're little stitch markers from Jibby Roo, and it's a mother and daughter team. And because that was our it was our Christmas issue, obviously. Um, these are Christmas themed, but as I said, they do. There's a, there's a sheep. There's a, a sheep robin. There. And a robin. Um, look at the sheep's face. The sheep is the fantastic. Sheep. Yeah. It's lovely. Little, little face. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> but they're lovely. They're like, um, they're just like kind of little cartoony characters. Yeah. Like really, really nice. Wallace um, and Gromit, the sheep out of Wallace and Gromit uh, looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Sean the sheep, isn't it? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's Jibby Roo Souls, S E W S. Yeah. And as I said, it's a, mom, a mother and daughter team, and they make uh, notions pouches as well, little yeah. bags and bits and pieces, um, and stitch markers. Um, and they uh, they're a bit well. They must have an Etsy shop, yes. Yeah, so they have they an do. Etsy shop. So you, if you look on Ellen and Loves, you'll be able to see and follow the the um, the details for that. These ones are lobster clasp ones. I've oh, got yeah. to a five mil needle or users progress because. I actually went on the website, the Etsy shop, before oh, I came yeah. out, mm -hmm. and there was 
some really lovely little um, pouches, needle keepers. Oh, yeah. Lots and lots of bits and pieces. Lots of different... I actually hadn't opened these, um, this particular set, to mm -hmm. have a look at. And I was like, oh my god, there's this really cute sheep. And then I open this and then there's this oh, really yeah. cute sheep. So <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. And the girls are going to be at Fibrist this year. So if anyone's going there, you can catch them. And like their prices are really reasonable. They start yeah. at like a, a pound, I think. So that's really good. And again, as I said, they have loads of other little kind of knitting notions and bags and stuff like that. We love featuring stitch markers because it's just... Yeah. It's nice to have a nice little collection. Yeah, if you make fish, uh, sti if you make fish markers, fish markers. If you make yeah. stitch markers, or you know someone that does, yeah, um, get in touch. Yeah, get in touch most definitely. Yeah, because they're just I don't know. Oh yeah, when you're a knitter, you kind of it's nice to have yeah. like a good selection of yeah, you know, little stitch markers or progress keepers. Yeah, yeah, I really like them. Yeah, yeah, really pretty. So there are two um, other man loves, mm -hmm. and I think we probably have another. Couple. I think we're in the two, don't yeah. we? And then we've got the yarn swatches and stuff oh, yeah. like that. Cool. Um, yeah. There's actually quite a lot. Yeah. And we never get round to talk about the books, and sometimes we feature some really some lovely, really good books. books. Yeah. Maybe yeah. we should do hmm. maybe a separate book separate review. Separate book section. review. Yeah. <laughs> like, we don't have enough to do that, really. <laughs> Let's do a separate book review podcast. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. <laughs> but maybe we could do it on. Actually, do you know what we could do on? I don't. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm totally going off tangent. But maybe even on Instagram, like if we did a kind of a mini. Oh yeah, that might be like a idea. mini kind of Instagram. Yeah. We keep getting live. told that we have to do mm. more Instagram. Yeah. Lives apparently. Yeah. And we're just terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just finding the time. I'm sure, everybody knows what we're talking about. The days just fly by. Yeah. You know. I can't believe we're already what February. The nearly halfway through, if you think about it, because February's short month. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, definitely um, not good. Um, so you've been busy. I, I haven't. Well, I've been busy at work, so that has put a dampener on how much knitting I get to do, which is pretty much zero. So yeah. um, Laura is I have tipping been, away. I've been doing, uh, to be fair, a lot of my knitting, for some reason, has been gifts, so I can't show you. I, I've got something with me that is a gift, but that's okay. Um, but uh, I'm going on with the Yarn Hoarders um, Dishcloth Challenge still. I've done two more, so I'm actually behind. I think, I think I'm two dishcloths behind. Oh, okay. Or washcloths, um, behind. Um, but I've done two more. So this one is actually the snakes and ladders washcloth by Michelle Krauss. I don't know. I forgot to, I forgot to take this bit off. It's Michelle mm -hmm. Krauss. Um, and I don't know how well this is coming out. Oh, yeah. We've got the so because it's so late in the afternoon, we've got one lot of lights on, just to see. So I don't know if you can see that it's got kind of like. They look like snakes going up. Can you see oh, that? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, that's nice. Yeah, and like both it. of these are just done in um, Rico cotton. Aaron cotton. Mm. Yeah, and then this one is one of the, the baby face spa cloths by Little Church Knits. So there's actually four designs in that. Oh, okay. Both of these patterns are free to download. So that's this one. And look, I mean, yeah, I haven't even cut my ends off. <laughs> so this one, actually, I made it a lot smaller than the pattern said right and i'm just wondering if i've made it a little bit too small i don't know maybe i haven't um i suppose if it was for a baby it would be the ideal size well, actually, so, that's yeah true. so i might actually yeah. make these four there's a few of our friends having babies so i mm. might make these four smaller but i do like this yeah, yeah like that texture like it, yeah it's nice, nice on the scarf wouldn't it i was thinking that too. yeah dishcloths are a really good way of um like testing what a pattern looks True, like for a yeah, scarf or yeah, something yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I mean, you, the back of it is quite nice as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of experiment with stitches yeah. a little bit and see what they look like. Yeah, yeah it's cool. So they're both done with the, the cotton essentials, Aaron. Just nice, nice colours. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I do like the idea of one a week. Um, I'm yeah. actually working on another project, um, which might be ready to. Tell everyone about next week. Oh, is this your surprise one with all, this is all the different, different colours? colours. Yeah, ah. so if, some, if you've seen my Instagram post, I might pop the picture here that ah. I put on Instagram and you can have a look. Um, it's kind of an ongoing project. Mm. And I think by next week it will be ready to, ah. Intriguing. to show. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, so you again, out and about. Oh, yeah. Okay, so me again. <laughs> okay. In case we haven't <laughs> met. Okay, so I was out at a skill tasters day in um, the Copper Coast Geo Park last week. There was um, the idea was that you went along and you did, 
You've tried your hand at several different crafts, um, predominantly fibre craft, but a few other bits and pieces. There was embroidery, there was um, nail binding, spinning with a drop spindle, um, finger loop braiding, crochet if you wanted to have a go, and then because it was February, uh, making St Bridget's Cross. Hmm. So um, now to be fair, out of all of those things, there's only two that I haven't tried, which was the St Bridget's Cross and the nail binding. And the St Bridget's Cross, I kind of knew how to do anyway. So we started off, so we'll talk with, I'll do it in the order that I did it in. So obviously because it was just a, a day, I didn't get to do everything. But the first thing that we made was a St Bridget's Cross, um, which if you don't, if, for those of you that don't know, is this, they're kind of, they're designed to be hung up, so it's kind of falling apart because, oh yeah, yeah. okay. So they're made out of reeds, so traditionally that's what they look like. But to, to, to get the idea of what we were doing, we made one first in paper. Mm, which actually, interesting. it's really cool. Yeah, I like it. Um, and a great thing to do with kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really. Well, I'm saying that, but I actually really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, so we started off with making a paper one. And then we made the traditional one, which is this one. And these were made with reeds. Um, and it, you can make the, the centre bit as big as you want. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously as they're drying out now, it's getting kind of looser. So oh, okay, of course. But the idea is, is that you pop them up. I think the story is that you pop them up and they last a year, don't they? They're meant to, yeah. meant to increase the crops, meant to make your oh, okay. cattle bountiful. Um, and bring kind of good luck, isn't it, hmm. I think. So that's the traditional one. But like like most, I suppose, like a lot of the, the Christian um, festivals, it was adopted by from a pagan um, festival originally. And this is the pagan, mm. the, tr the original pagan cross. Interesting. Yeah. So it's like three Yeah. Legs. And actually, this was really different to make oh, from this. Yeah. 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 Um, and the idea is they, uh, the other thing they do is they're supposed to be good for fertility. Oh, interesting. So, um, yeah, really, really interesting. And whilst we were there, we made uh, like a, a, a big, a big St. Bridget's cross using the, um, you know, like the big kind of yucca plants in the oh, garden. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So we all wove in a, 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 oh, a, big, a big one of those and it's going to be put on the wall. So the, the geopark is actually in a, an old church. And it's been turned into like a visitor centre mm. and a cafe, and it's going to go up on the wall. And obviously, uh, the ceilings yeah. are really high, and it's yeah, oh. it's a really great place. So that was the first thing we did. The second thing we did was um, some drop spindle spinning with Liz, who was actually a friend. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Liz knows I detest drop spindle spinning. <laughs> <laughs> she made you do it anyway. Yeah, she <laughs> kind of handed me a spindle. I was like, oh, I'm doing it then, am I? Um, so. Do you know what it is? When I spin on a drop spindle, I always overspin. Oh, right. And I don't do that so much on my wheel. Um, but I did actually really enjoy yeah, it. Yeah. So maybe I was just in the mind for it. Yeah. Um, I, I think this was Cheviot that we spun. And it's not like, yeah, it's oh, not that good. overspun, no. possibly. All of the other ladies hadn't done it. And they were making like gorgeous, as you do when you first start spinning, like gorgeous art yarns. And, oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was like, oh, they just look so great and textured. And, yeah. Yeah, mine's like thin. <laughs> <laughs> so, which you know is what we aspire to when we spin. Well, definitely. But then when you're looking at other people and they're so yeah. like, they're so caught up in it and they're like, oh my God, and it's all lumpy and bumpy. And yeah. I'm like, but that's like what mine is like. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's, what I, that's what I want to do. Um, so then we had this, we had a, a magnificent lunch, mm -hmm. lots of lots of homemade food, um, which, yeah, there were scones and God knows what else. It was all very nice. nice. So so then obviously the problem there is that you're, you want to digest stuff. Yeah, lunch, so and have a little bit of a nap. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit slower. <laughs> so we did um, finger loop braiding and I've actually spent a day with some of these ladies already doing medieval crafting. So technically... The spinning goes onto that and the nail binding that I'll come to goes to that. But apparently finger loop braiding doesn't come under medieval crafting because I think it was around 10,000 something. Oh. It starts to appear in home books. Oh. So you know like um, books for um, how, teaching you how to clean, how to oh, wash right. clothes. And well, finger okay. loop braiding comes in there apparently. Yeah. So you can't see, I don't know if you're able to see this very clearly. But we did three different techniques. So there's this technique that gives you a oh, split yeah. braid. Okay. And then there's this technique, and then there was this technique. And I 
asked what these braids would have been used for, and they said things like tie backs or any shoelaces or anything oh, that needed okay. a tight, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a tight, um, like a strong braid. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, I enjoyed it. We only did this with three different threads, I think five different threads, sorry, no, three. And the idea was that we were going to then try it with some other threads, and mm -hmm. apparently, the more threads you use, the more. Um, the easier it is to see the pattern. Oh, okay. we didn't have time. Yeah, yeah. So it might be something That's I revisit. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah. yeah, it's totally different to you know the you know, the loopy loo things that you make when you're a kid. Yes, it's yeah, totally yeah. different. To is that. it? Oh, okay. Yeah, because okay. yeah, that's what I thought it was going to be. Think it was. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm totally different. And then my main reason for going, <laughs> um, I am obsessed by nail binding. I have no idea why. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's something about it comp has me completely enthralled. And I've done nail binding with Catherine, the lady that was teaching it before. Um, and I just love it. So this is yeah. an Oslo stitch. Like, oh, I don't even want to learn any more than an Oslo oh, stitch. Oh, yeah, I like it. Um, See if you can get a closer. Yeah, and to do nail binding is completely different. Oh, it's yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. M much more insulating. So nail binding is basically a series of knots. Yes. So it predates crochet and knitting. Oh. Um, and you... So this is like so this is one strip of nail binding and then obviously to join it it's a little bit like what you would do for knitting in the round I suppose or crocheting in the round. So this is then two rows of nail, oh, okay, nail yeah, binding yeah. and there's about sixty different stitches, sixty Whoa. different variations. Um, and these are all Oslo stitch. So when I did these there with Catherine, I then came home and played again because I'm determined to try and get get there in the end. Um, and you actually do it with effectively a glorified tapestry needle. Oh. Um, obviously, traditionally, it would be a bone needle or a wooden needle or antlers or something. But there's something about it yeah, I absolutely yeah. adore. Interesting. Yeah. So that was, to be fair, it was, the idea was to kind of go and kind of connect base with other people again mm. and, and I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> again. Oh, yeah. well, that's cool. Maybe, I, maybe, maybe in a roundabout way, I... I I think I want to become a medieval reenactor or something. Yeah, maybe that's what maybe, it is. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That's your calling. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I can persuade Con. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say you persuade Con to do this just about anything. <laughs> Darling, I've had an idea. <laughs> I want to be a Viking. Hear me out. You see, but some reenactors are really, really strict and they won't let you wear glasses. Oh. Watches. And I can't see without my glasses, yeah. so that's really not going to help. Mm -hmm. And then also, I don't know where they stand about makeup and stuff like that. Oh, right. So, I think some are very, very strict. So you might want to go for a more kind of relaxed... Yeah, more liberal group. Viking. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I liked a bit of slap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Well, I guess, yeah, if you're... I suppose some people would say if you're going to do it, yeah, do it 100%. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. get it. Yeah. yeah, I do get it. I yeah. mean, I love, I love the clothes. I absolutely oh, yeah, adore yeah. the clothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, maybe it's that. Maybe that's what I'm yeah. leaning towards, hmm. possibly. Watch this space as well. She's <laughs> coming in full Viking yeah. garb. I'm coming in full Viking garb next time. So, no, definitely. I think if... if if you're in any way interested in fiber crafts, then maybe have a look at this. There's a couple yeah. of really good groups. There's a good Facebook group. There's a nail binding group on Ravelry. Mm. Um, there's lots of videos on YouTube, and predominantly most people tend to make um, mittens, socks, or hats. Okay. There are people that make. There's a lady I saw recently that made a full length coat. Whoa. Which was wow. Absolutely stunning and must have taken wow. so much time. <gasps> Because you, you're effectively knotting around your thumb. Oh, right. So each individual stitch is around your thumb and the tension wow. is from your thumb. The size of your stitches is, is no your thumb. Way. So oh, right. that, yeah. yeah. So it's it's each it's knotting around your thumb and then moving it and then knotting around your thumb and moving it. So okay. yeah, definitely I suppose once you got it, if you got into a rhythm, does it go quickly then? Yeah, yeah, I mean I definitely sped up and my tension was getting better okay Do you know what i yeah, mean yeah, yeah. um you because you're only working with a needle you can only work with maybe a five meter length at the most okay um so then you have to kind of spit splice if you're doing with with pure wool which is obviously what they would have been doing oh, with. okay um but if you think about it like vikings for example they use a drop spindle to spin their yarn to be woven or nail binded oh. and they made sails from the leaf, drop spindle really? like so it, that whole wow. thing fascinates me. Yeah, that is pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, I'd love to do some 
Yeah. Sort of research. Research. Yeah. 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 Maybe yeah. we could do a feature about like yeah. like traditional like medieval, medieval crafts. crafts. That'd be really cool. Yeah, especially because we've got the Viking triangle mm. in Waterford, haven't we? Mm-hmm. And yeah, I think yeah, there's yeah. stuff there's definitely Viking stuff up in Dublin Yeah, it's kinda it's stuff. kind of the um the south east and kind of up the east coast would have been the most yeah. Viking activity, I think. Yeah. So like Kilkenny and like Wexford and that area and Waterford obviously. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, it might be a good idea. Mm. Maybe. Yeah. 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 So if you're interested, let us know. Yeah. That'd be a great reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We're just going to do it probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Leave me go off and yeah, yeah, yeah. find out yeah. more about it. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> oh God, it's me again. I know. But this is, so you've been really busy with work. Oh yeah. You? Yeah. It's not, yeah. I, I literally have just been, yeah non-stop so um yeah i know you could talk about your pattern okay yeah yeah yeah. so actually yeah that's true actually you drink some tea so every now and then we do when we remember (laughs) we do a feature on the podcast about pattern stalking so like um different designs that we've been kind of keeping an eye on or have popped up on our radar and we kind of look at them and go oh that looks really cool um and i was kind of fascinated i suppose by the the trend of brioche knitting but it just for, it just sounds really, really tricky, and I've seen one or two of our friends. Uh, Carol was doing some in a, a Stephen West shawl, and yeah. It, yeah, it just seemed like maybe a step too far for me right now. So I was thinking, uh, but I, I love the idea of it, and I love the look of it. So I, uh, um, this pattern on Ravelry, and we'll slot it in here. It's called Quinique. Caught my eye because it's uh, a hat that's based. That is, she's calling it like the second cousin of the brioche stitch. So it's like a textural rib stitch, but it looks quite similar to uh, brioche knitting. And it's um, um, just a really kind of, if you were thinking about doing brioche, but kind of weren't maybe fully happy that you could manage it, it might be a good starting mm-hmm. point. At least that's what I'm thinking for me. Um, and so this hat called Quinique is, and it's by, sorry, I should say who's by, Ala Saenko. Um, and again, yeah, as I said, we'll pop it in here so you'll be able to have a look. You might have to pause for a minute so I can pop it in. Pop <laughs> it in here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you've now seen the hat, so you can see what I mean. It has a lovely textural look and look to it. Um, and it just it's just a little bit different from because I love I love the kind of that slouch like I love the sock head slouch hat so it has still has that slouchiness yeah. to it yeah. but with a more you know with more going on I suppose so um, yeah so that's something that I've been looking at and I think I maybe will delve into that mm-hmm. but uh, as Laura mentioned we've got a few kind of uh, one of our good friends is due maybe five weeks or so yeah uh, yeah March so yeah we need yeah. to so there's baby knitting afoot and my my sister is due in July, so there will be much knitting mm. uh, there as well. So, um, yeah, so you'll probably see from me probably a lot of baby knits baby <laughs> in the next few months, which is great because they just go much faster yeah. than, you know, regular yeah. knits. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, but in between that, I'll probably knit we'll this do a hat cash for, yes. next, for next winter. I know, although it is still quite cold. It's yeah. Yeah. It's not just quite cold. Yeah. Yeah. I got up the other day and I was like, open because my house is this big farmhouse and it's always cold. So I don't tend to open the curtains very early in the morning and I kind of got up, done everything, opened the upstairs curtains and was like, oh my God, it's snow. <laughs> It's like no one knew it was going to yeah. happen either. It was really funny. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it was hilarious taking the dogs out because I don't think Tom's ever been out in the ah, snow, okay. and that was so funny. Oh, really? Absolutely. Oh my god. So my new dog, I can tell. Yeah. So my <laughs> new dog, he's a rescue dog, and he he fetches like he he'll catch the ball and okay. bring the ball back, which is fantastic. Yeah. So, but I've got one of those um, plastic things that oh, help the you launch things. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Which is fine, but then my other two dogs and so my old Labrador. Sorry for going off on a tangent about dogs, but I think this is hilarious. So she thinks it's hilarious to go and catch the ball and won't bring it back. Oh, but she's she's a big girl, and when she moves, she sounds like a like a, a steam train. <laughs> <laughs> so she's got the ball in her mouth. She's trying desperately hard not to drop the ball, but she's like so chuffed with herself, and she's wagging her tail. <laughs> she's her whole body means it's going. Oh. And so she carries the whole bloody ball like back all the way and just drops it outside the house that's it 
But then the other dog, the Jack Russell, if he gets it, Errol, today he got the ball, ran around the field like a loony, then came over and because it's a farm, there's, in places there's kind of like um, access holes where you can get oh, to the okay. pipes, yeah, near the near the troughs. So okay. if there's a leak, they can fix it. Oh, okay. He just dropped it in one of those and more, like, disappeared. Errol! <laughs> I was like, you I can't get it! Oh. Like, and he was, so then they were going mad at me because it was at the start of the walk. Oh no. And they were like jumping up and oh, getting all excited. I'm like, I don't have that bloody ball! Take so an arrow. It. Yeah, oh. it's his fault. <laughs> Kill him. Like, it's so funny. Oh, He's dear. just, and Tom is just like, throw the ball for me, throw oh. the ball for me. He won't leave me alone. He's got a proper, like, attachment issue. If I go for a wee, he follows me. It's like, <laughs> I'm just going for a wee. I can do this myself. Yeah. He's like, oh, come. I'll follow you. <laughs> proper attachment oh, yeah. you'd think he'd have been in the shelter for ages he was in there for two days oh bless so <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah he's like love me love me please just love oh, me geez. i call toby my shadow because he literally <laughs> just follows me everywhere everywhere <laughs> all the time you know what i mean yeah, so yeah. i do like totally understand you yeah and then yeah i'm sitting on the loop and he's just like yeah and i'm like why is it? Why don't you just go back into the comfy sofa and just sit? Why are you looking at me going to the toilet? Ridiculous. Anyway. Excuse the tangent. Anyway. But I thought I needed to share. Yeah. I needed yeah. to share with someone. Oh. I needed to text someone. And who like, doesn't love dog stories? stories. Yes. Yeah. 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 I did see someone sent me a message yesterday. You know, one of those um, memes. And it was a dog and it's got like a woolly hat on. It's a greyhound. Mm. And it says... um. Yes it, yes, it is okay to go out, but you have to take your young... Or that moment when you have, know you have to take your younger sibling with you. And it pans across to this other little dog who's got the most outrageous woolly <laughs> hat on. Just like... <laughs> Cute. <laughs> dog means I'm, I'm all for dog means. Yeah. So, okay, so I have... Uh, we have to have it, but I actually... I actually... I've had it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> but it's because I remember I hadn't... I haven't done what I'm supposed to do with it. Mm. So it's actually uh, a one of a kind. It's called the Laura Special. <laughs> Maybe that should be special Laura. <laughs> <laughs> and it's 75% merino, 25% polyamide from Irish fairy tale yarns. Um, and I've got in touch with Gabriella and Carlo before Christmas because the you know the Quaker yarn stretcher that I made that had been one of my naughty little buggers for quite a while. Oh yeah. And I pulled it out and oh, I finished yeah. it and I, I really like it. So I should have yeah, yeah. Uh, but my mum really likes it and she kind of was like, Oh I'll have it if you don't like it. <laughs> um but it, I made it in a colonnette yarn and probably not there anymore, yeah. is it? Um so I kind of said to Gabriella what I was after and Gabriella very kindly dyed me this. Oh, it's lovely. I so it's it. got a grey base and then it's got um blues and greens and yellows in that. Um and I'm actually going to to make my mum uh, a yarn, a Quaker yarn stretcher with it. Oh, cool. So the idea was that it was going to be for Christmas, but that didn't work. <laughs> so it's just going to be because now. So oh. I plan on casting this on. I was actually going to cast it on last night, but I really wanted to show you the yarn yeah, before really I nice. done it. And what makes it like it looks massive? Yeah. So it's their worsted, and I think it has about four hundred. Yeah, four hundred twenty oh, yeah. meters. Wow. So it's their worsted sock. Um, yeah, it's really really nice. Cool. Oh, I love it. Yeah, so I'd say touch wood that might be a finished object by the time we podcast. Yeah, yeah. Oh God, and hopefully I'll have some. <laughs> I wouldn't hold my breath though. <laughs> Things aren't looking any brighter in the work front. But anyway, yeah, I hate when like real life gets in the way of your crafting. It's really annoying. I know. Really annoying. Yeah, they okay. um, The dogs are now yeah are looking okay? looking at us up underneath the table, just staring <laughs> up at us. <laughs> All right, lads. Okay. Something's happened to upset them, but I don't know what it is. Thankfully, we haven't got high-pitched bark yet, so that's good. I see you, Toby. I see you. Go on away. <laughs> Go on away. Go on. Go back in there. Go on, good boys. <laughs> so, um, so I, I feel really, yeah, I feel like ridiculous even showing you this because you probably like, that doesn't look any different to what you no, saw two weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, it does look different. But it's anyway, a I've bit. kind of, I've kind of moved, up, like, progressed. I suppose the, uh, the initial bit. And I'm just, I had to do one more pattern repeat on this before I then join it in the round and introduce. So again, just to remind you, this is the Moon Garden Cowl from Knitterarium, Ruth. And um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I'm loving it. And I think the pattern, yeah, I suppose you can see it. You probably couldn't see this the last yeah, time. Yeah, you can see it. So yeah. the lace a little bit better. And then here we go. Yeah. Oops, did I put it in the front? No. I put it in the front. I was like, that's not really helping, Laura. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's better. So you can yeah. see. Hold it out a bit 
the way it trails up. So oh it's, yeah, it's kind of so cool. It's like, like, like a ladder, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So um, very cool. Yeah, it's really nice actually. Yeah, and it's just um, yeah, um oh. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Um, so I'm looking forward to introducing the, the other colour actually. I'll just drop two, 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 four. It's fine. Uh, got them. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to introducing the other colour. Um, and then it's just, it's going to be garter stitch for a little while and then another bit more lace. And uh, and then a kind of a, looks like a rib because it, it's like um it's like a cowl, but like with a, that you can make it yeah, as a hood. So like a, what do you call that? It's like a snit. Yeah, snit. Um, so yeah. So maybe in two weeks. Yeah, okay. In two weeks, I should definitely have that finished. Actually, because the cal it's a cal I'm doing with... The and that, that is the 23rd. So yeah, I need to have it finished by then. Otherwise, I don't know what happens, but... <laughs> <laughs> Ruth comes down to my house. <laughs> no, from your door. Where's your cal? <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, yeah, anyway, so that's my aim. Yeah. But we obviously have a lot of... I was just thinking about you said two weeks, well. I was like... We've got so much oh knitting to do for an end. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe aim to get on the garter stitch. Oh, I'll definitely be on the garter stitch because I've only more, one more okay, pattern okay. repeat on this and it's only, it's only 10 rows. So it's garter stitch and then it's another lace pattern. It's, it? Yeah, but it's, a, it's just one colour lace uh, all the way up then and then it just goes back into this um, purpley pink okay. colour. Yeah. Okay. But no, I'd, I'd say, yeah. I'd say it should fly up once I kind of get into the round as well. It should kind of just go a little bit. So quicker. instead, I'm going to be saying to you, did you get that knitting done for the magazine? Oh my gosh. I know, yeah. Well, that's the thing, you see. <laughs> knitting, mag the magazine knitting kind of has to take precedence. Yeah. You know, especially when we're kind of tight for time. So. Yeah. 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 And although they're all small things, they're yeah. all kind of intricate, aren't they? A yeah. Little bit. So, yeah. 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 It's an interesting one. I did, I did put a teaser up, didn't I, on Instagram? Oh, yeah. Because I was like, oh my god, I'm doing so much knitting and I can't share any of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to show something. Yeah. <laughs> and it's pretty and I want to say it. Yeah. So I'm doing, so one of the gifts I'm making is um, just a basic box standard hat that I make for, uh, that I make for Dina, my daughter, and now for my son's girlfriend, Sinead, uh -huh. um, and I'm pretty sure Sinead doesn't watch this because I don't know if Sinead knows that I do this. Oh, okay. So um, this is actually Sinead's birthday is in a couple of weeks, so oh, I just, no. apparently she really like, you know when you make something for someone and you're just not sure? Yes. Um, but she, I made her a black one for Christmas and she loves it and I have actually seen her in it oh, now. Oh, okay. Um, so uh, Doom, my son, said to me, um, will you ever make her a different colour hat? <laughs> Just never takes this black one off. So <laughs> I thought, well, I'll make her a grey one, and then she can wear it with black. Cause she wears quite a lot of black, so oh, cool. and then maybe maybe I can brighten her up a bit after that. So I'm just using two balls of the Mirage held together. Look at me, I'm being good, and I'm using oh, stash. Okay. Well done. So two balls of the Adrafil Mirage, um, which I actually really like. There's loads of colours in it. I used to sell this. Yeah. Um, so it's fifty five percent wool, forty five percent acrylic. Oh, I like it. And doubled up, it's really nice. Oh, it's isn't it? it's a nice texture. Yeah, it feels lovely. So mm. yeah. So I'll ha I'd say I'll have that done later. And, um, oh yeah. Good. Yeah, and then I'm gonna make another. I have some yarn picked out for somebody else who I can't say because I know she does watch the podcast. <laughs> but it might arrive next week if I get it sorted quickly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot of the logistics involved when you're knitting for other people and well, yeah. knitting for the magazine, just waiting for yarn and just, yeah. you know. Yeah, because we're waiting yeah. on yarn for mm. two things for the mm. magazine at the moment, aren't we? Mm. So that will be kind of power knitting mm. going on there a little yeah. bit. We've got some really, the yarn review, I'm enjoying the yarn review oh, yeah. get, um, hugely because it's kind of a, a bit of a passion of mine. So I'm really enjoying that yeah. and I can't wait. I, my, I think my problem will be trying to keep the reviews succinct. You okay. might have to yeah, like, edit that and all mm. that. Let's see. Red on the tangent again. again. Um, oh anyway. yeah, and before I forget, what I, want, what I want, did want to say was, we, one of us, or both of us, whatever, we've got to put a blog post together, but while I think of it, I might highlight it here as well. Um, Jennifer um, from Appalope Fibre Works is going to be doing a WODE um, project. Mm -hmm. So WODE is, uh, for those of you that don't know, is a, a, a natural dye, a blue natural dye. Um, that's kind of used over this side of the world traditionally mm. um, and in other parts of the world they would have used indigo. Um, it gives you a really nice true blue and mm. it's very easy to grow because it's one of the, it's a, it's a brassica, so a cabbage. Oh, or, right. okay. um, interesting. Yeah, so um, 
I'm just gonna, I think, probably if I get a chance, I'll probably highlight Jennifer's post. Oh yeah. But just in case you were you were wondering about it and you wanted to get involved, um, I'm gonna put a link in that um, blog post as to where you can get the seeds and because they need to be kind of started off soon. Okay. So maybe just look out for that if you're interested in trying the natural dye in. It's a nice, easy dye. Um, the three the three main dyes, Madder, Weld and Wode. Wode is the easiest one. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Weld is like a... Uh, I think Weld you have to... It's the second year that you use it. Okay. And then Madder is very easy to grow, but, uh, grow and there's there's wild ones, but it's very invasive. Oh, I so, see. Okay, so you wouldn't yeah. want to start it in your garden. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So... So yeah, so keep an eye out for that if you oh, wanted to get involved cool. on a bit of natural dye. Yeah, interesting. Cool. Yeah. Have we so everything? I think we yeah. have. Mm. Yeah, okay. That wasn't too bad. No. I felt like we were talking for much longer than that. We were, but I'm going to cut it all out. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, so it's even charging then. Okay. You don't want to hear what we were talking no, about? No. no. Nonsense. No. no, it is nonsense. <laughs> and all being well, we will be back in a couple of weeks. Or yeah, then. let's okay. try all right yeah stick to stick to what we've been doing i think yeah okay we should be able to do that all right my roots will be done as well i hope oh god and mine too god i was careful not to put my head down like that everybody's in my gray hair <laughs> oh. yikes mine's not gray mine's dark and horrible yeah yeah no you wouldn't notice it not too much <laughs> yeah not too much thanks <laughs> on that note we're going <laughs>